probably five and a half years ago when I was making 725 an hour. If you'd have told me in five years I'm gonna have two motorcycles and a bands, I'd have said. This the new bike. My other bike has been in the shop for two months. It's a long story to that. We're gonna get into that in the vlog. But yes, this is my new baby. I love her. Look at that red. Man, that red and white got me. I'm trying to tell you. Red and white got me. I can hear him now. Cause I've been here for like a hundred hours. Nah, I've been here for like 10 minutes. But it's 90 degrees. And 10 minutes and 90 degrees is a long time. Here go my boy right here. It's not supposed to rain. Bruh. Get on my other phone. <laughs> like this, John? Huh? Paper tag. <laughs> First off the lot, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look wise, yes. Look wise, yes. I'm yeah, I I think I'ma sell the other joint. <laughs> yeah. The old head that I was riding with uh, last night, he was like, man, man, just keep both of them, bro. Like, never get rid of none of your toys. He was like, man, you going to have kids one day and you going, you know what I'm saying, show them the way. I'm like, bro, I'm nowhere near close. Like, by the time that time comes, we'll get another bike. I'm not about to hold a bike for 10 years <laughs> for them, like. <laughs> yeah. It's hot as hell, y'all. I ain't even going to hold you. So y'all might as well get into the story. So about two months ago, I was on a group ride to Delaware and the engine on my Ninja 600 went out. Crazy, huh? I was in a huge group ride. The engine went out. Luckily, my friend, she let me ride her bike back. She got on the back. But I've been going through hell and back to get my bike fixed. I had to get it towed three different times to find a shop that was willing to fix it in a quote-unquote timely manner. The shop that I bought it from was willing to fix it, but uh, since I have a warranty, um, it requires a complete breakdown of the engine, which is time consuming, and a lot of shops don't do that kind of work year round. So the shop I bought it from only will do that the end of the year, like November, December. So. I said, no, I'm not about to wait till December to get my bike back. So, I took it to Glen Burnie Motorsports. And they've been waiting on parts forever. Like, first I had to go through the process of testing it out to see if the warranty would cover it. Uh, then once they found out that the warranty will cover it and Kawasaki was going to pay for it, now they're trying to get the parts. Two months later, we're still waiting for some of the parts. I didn't miss half the season, probably over half the season. And I'm just like, bro, I'm dying to ride. So here we are on this beautiful red Jixxer 600, same year as my other bike. And I love it, man. I like, I like how this bike looks better than my other bike anyway. So right now I have two motorcycles technically, but it was pissing me off that, so I rent a garage to put my bike in. It's 165 a month. It was pissing me off that I'm paying for the garage every month. And I'm paying insurance on my bike and I don't even have the bike. So I'm like, I might as well get another bike. Before I bought this, I actually bought a little, a little, uh, like a pit bike. Um, but the pit bike wasn't what I thought it was. The pit bike wasn't what I thought it was. Um, I really bought it because I thought I was going to be popping wheelies and stuff. But the wheelie popping process was not that easy because the, the little pit bike didn't have much torque. So it was hard to willy. So I sold that for half the price I bought it for. I bought that for 2000 Sold it for 1000 
That was dumb. I should've never paid 2000 for a damn pit bike, but I bought this on brand new from the shop. Should've just went to like eBay or the offer up and bought it, but anyways, sold that joint for a thousand, lost a thousand. Then eventually I, I bought this. I could've put that 2000 towards uh, this bike, you know what I'm saying? But you live and you learn, I'm blessed. It didn't hit me that hard, you know what I'm saying? Like the financial burden isn't much. And um, I'm just glad to be back on twos, man. So I'm riding with my boy Akeem. But if you would have told me five years ago that in 2020, five years ago when I was making, well, maybe, hold up, probably five and a half years ago when I was making 725 an hour, if you would have told me in five years I'm gonna have two motorcycles and a Benz, I'd have said, You're kidding me, right? But nope. The Lord is continuing to do work.